When I was a student at school, um, we had a diary. And um, in the diary, um, it referred to each term by a, a different title, each of the school terms, the four terms that we had. And first term wasn't just called term one, it was referred to as the Candlemas term. Because during term one, at the beginning of term one of school, we have the feast of the presentation of the Lord in the temple, today's celebration. And this has become known right for, for many, many hundreds of years as Candlemas, where candles were traditionally blessed on um, this day. And candles have become a big part of our liturgical experience. Even with artificial light, we still have the role of candles. There is something beautiful about a candle. And there has been a resurgence in interest in candles um, in, say, the last decade or more. Candles remind us that we're called to be the light of Christ. And the Christmas season, you could say, formally comes to an end today. This is the last of the, the infancy stories happens with the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. Our current liturgical structure, we've moved into ordinary time, and, um, but then we sort of have the, the, the introduction to our Mass today reminding us that this is the 40th day since, since Christmas. And that's why today is the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. There is some similarity, I think, with the conclusion of the Christmas season. If you see today is the conclusion of the Christmas season with the role of Pentecost and the Easter season. We are called to be the light of Christ. And the story of Christmas is about the light coming into the world. And we know that once we get to Easter, we begin with the Easter fire where we then all light candles and we are called to be the light of Christ in the world. Our gospel today begins with Luke beautifully telling us of how the Holy Spirit was at work on this day, the day of the presentation of the Lord. And we're told a number of times that the Holy Spirit is there. The Spirit had prompted the parents. We were told, prompted by the Holy Spirit, um, Simeon came into the temple and then we're also told that, the, that he spoke inspired by the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit's not just something of Pentecost the journey of the Christian is one of the Holy Spirit it is one of mystery and we should treasure the role of the Holy Spirit in our lives and part of the, the experience of the celebration of the presentation of the Lord is to remind us, yes, to be the light of Christ, but also that the Holy Spirit is part of our lives and that when we come into the temple of the Lord, this is a place of sacredness. That was the way the Jewish people understood it. We're told that beautiful story of Anna, how she spent most of her life in the temple praying. That she was very aged in years, but she spent every day in the temple at prayer. So Luke writes this under perhaps the guidance of Mary as a reminder for us that we're called not just to be active in the world, but we're also called to be contemplatives. And Anna was a contemplative. She was a prophetess. We're called to be contemplatives as well. We come into this temple, this church. People often come and they light a candle, which we've just blessed some for the candles for our candle stands. And they spend time in prayer. We unite ourselves with the baby Jesus, but we present ourselves for the service of the Lord. Jesus was presented in the temple in the same way that every other Jewish child would have been presented in the temple. And he was presented for service. And when we're brought for baptism, we are also presented for service. And then Jesus and Mary and Joseph went from the temple and Jesus then lived out the way of service of God, that dedication of God, and we do that every single day. So when we come into the church, maybe today or in future days, when we light a candle, remember that we are presenting ourselves for service, that we're not just lighting a candle as a prayer for another person or to create light in the church, but we're lighting this candle to be the light of Christ, to know that we are called to be that light in the world that we have been presented for service and that with the Holy Spirit guiding us, we then go into the world 
to give glory and praise to God. This is the light of revelation to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. We heard these words of our gospel acclamation. Let us today cherish the light of God that has been lit within us. Let us go and proclaim the good news of Christ to all nations.